Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to create the double exposed style images that Danny Clinch often does. So, you open up your image in Photoshop and obviously within Danny Clinch's work most of his stuff is black and white that we're looking at. So we'll change it into black and white. So really simply, image, adjustments, black and white. And I'm going to make auto this one and press OK. So there you go, there's black and white. What you then want to do is go into the layers and duplicate this layer. So what, how you do that is dragging this layer down to the double box next to the rubbish bin and then letting go. And as you see here, I've now got a copied layer. From here, what you then want to do is play with the opacity. So that there is the transparency of an image. So I'm going to go down to roughly 50%. And so if I'm on the layer copy, which is on top, I'm now moving that top layer to where I want it to. So let's say if I'm wanting her there. So there you go, I've now got a double exposed image. What I'm also going to do is take out this line here. Now that line there is associated with that opaque image. So I need to make sure I'm on that layer. I can then use the eraser tool to just simply get rid of that. Obviously, once you've moved it, you then can play with how opaque um, that layer is, depending what kind of effects you want. If you want it kind of subtly there or there quite strongly, that is up to you. So that there is really simply how to make the double exposed image similar to a lot of Danny Clinch's work. 